The Allied bombing of Yugoslavia in World War II involved air attacks on cities and towns in the Kingdom of Yugoslavia by the United States Army Air Force and Royal Air Force including the Balkan Air Force between 1941 and 1945, during which period the entire country was occupied by the Axis powers. Dozens of Yugoslav cities and towns were bombed, many repeatedly. These attacks included intensive air support for partisan operations in May–June 1944, and a bombing campaign against transport infrastructure in September 1944 as the German Wehrmacht withdrew from the Balkans. This latter operation was known as Operation Ratweek. Some of the attacks caused significant civilian casualties. Topic: <inaudible> First bombings. The bombings of Serbia and Montenegro lasted from the 20th of October 1943 to the 18th of September 1944. Especially hit was the industrial town of Nis in South Serbia. The bombing began on 20 October 1943, instantly killing 250 people. German forces in town were barely affected. Nis was bombed 15 times in total. The greatest devastation was in the most destitute parts of the town, along the railroad. Topic: 1944 Easter bombing. Belgrade was bombed by British and American air forces on 16 to 17 April 1944, which was Orthodox Easter Day. The most important unit that took part was the American 15th Air Force, based in Foggia in the south of Italy. This carpet bombing raid was executed by 600 aircraft flying at high altitude. Civilian casualties were as many as 1,160, while German military losses were 18, or some 1,200 killed in total. 5,000 people were wounded, though officially only the military and industrial targets were picked – factories, bridges, airport, ammunition depots, German barracks and garrisons – the precision of bombing was notoriously bad. Features in downtown hit on 16 April included Palace Albanija, National Theatre in Belgrade, Terezii, Bailoni Market, area around the Belgrade Main Railway Station, Krunski Venak including the maternity hospital where several mothers who just gave births were killed with their babies, a large number of hospitals, schools and kindergartens. Bombed areas of a wider center of Belgrade included Dorkol, which was heavily destroyed, parts of Vraka and Pasino Brdo and Dusanovic, suburbs at the time, which had no factories or military targets. When the bombing was continued the next day, the remains of the King Alexander Bridge, partially destroyed in April 1941, were bombed. Hits were mostly concentrated on the bank areas of the city, including the Sajmist concentration camp, part of the independent state of Croatia at the time. Some 100 prisoners were killed in the bombing. Some citizens were hiding in surviving shelters but others massively fled the city, hiding in the woods or surrounding villages. Some 1,500 tons of bombs were used in the bombing. Other targets included Kalenic Market, Central Hygienic Institute, Hospital for Infectious Diseases, Home for the Blind, Labor Market, Orthopedic Institute, both state orphanages, for boys and girls, two homes for the children of the refugees from other parts of Yugoslavia, Children's Hospital, Children's Dispensary, all bridges were damaged again, railway stations in Topsida and Rakovica, post office no. 
2. Fabrics Factory of Vlada Ilich in Karaburma, Faculty of Technical Engineering, Vajfitz Brewery, University Campus. The city was crippled, yet German military objects were almost unharmed and they made only 1.5% of the fatalities. One unexploded bomb had a written Happy Easter in Serbian Cyrillic on the casing, which amazed citizens of Belgrade. One epitaph on the tombstone on Belgrade New Cemetery says, They hope to get freedom from the English, not knowing that hope leads them directly into death. Part of the Easter raid were also numerous towns in Montenegro and Herzegovina, Cetinje, Zabiak, Savnik, Kolosin, Andrajevica, Gako and Bilica. Topic: Later bombings. From April to September 1944, Belgrade was bombed 11 times. In this period, a number of other Serbian towns, including some quite small, were bombed: Kraljevo six times, Zemun four times, Alabana four times, Novi Sad three times, Smederevo two times, Kaprija two times, Popovac two times, Leskovac, Kragovac, Krusvac, Smederevska Palanka, Gornji Milanovic, Sreska Mitrovica, Ruma, Veliki. Bekarek, Peck, Coven, Pansevo, Velika Plana, Prijapolje, Kursumlia, Prokuplia, Vukia, Lebane, Gradelica, Podajevo, Raska, Stalik, Kosovska Mitrovica, Pristina. Belgrade was bombed again on 6 and 8 September 1944 with about 120 flying fortresses, also from the U.S. 15th Air Force, which were accompanied by fighter planes. NIS was bombed again on 30 March 1944. It took six days to find all the wounded and killed and remove them from the rubble. Town was bombed again on 5 April. This time, the Allies used 248 bombs, killed 88 and wounded 184 people. Cathedral Church was hit and the bombs destroyed the city cemetery, blowing up the collective tombs of the previous victims of the bombing. Leskovac was bombed on 6 September. Described as, Day of Hell, the post attack situation was described as, if the entire Leskovac lifted up in the whirlwind of dust, smoke and rubble. Allied aircraft bombed Maribor, present-day Slovenia on some 50 occasions. American 15th Air Force twice bombed German facilities in Maribor, where aircraft engines were manufactured. Those attacks were conducted on 7 January and 6 November 1944. In 1944, town of Nixich in Montenegro was bombed. 500 people were killed in the first attack. Radio London reported, During the attack on Nixich, block bombs of two tons were used. Half of the town was demolished or damaged. Nixich was bombed on the request of Marshal Tito. On 5 May Podgorica was bombed again, in total, four times. One-sixth of the population was killed while 4,500 were wounded. Other towns in Montenegro and surrounding areas of Serbia and Herzegovina which were bombed included Sienica and Bijelo Polje. Topic. Assessment Official Yugoslav historiography didn't explore the Allied bombings after 1945, but the official stand was that it had to happen, in order to destroy the remaining occupational forces. 
Modern historians tend to disagree, giving a number of reasons. In that particular period of the World War II, Yugoslav Front wasn't a location of important military operations, number of German forces was not high, and they mostly consisted of Third Corps regiments. Italy was already switched to the Allied side, Yugoslav partisans were still out of all major urban centers. Josip Broz Tito was declared a a marshal in November 1943, Churchill and Stalin agreed on division of the zones of interest while Serbia was for the most part partisan free, with sizable presence of the Setniks. It is believed that the combined effect of all these reasons was behind the bombing. Tito and his general staff were sending targets to the Allied command. Historian Smilja Avramov discovered documents in Berlin which showed that the targets, for which Tito asked to be bombed, included purely civilian objects, like hospitals, schools, faculties and graveyards. Some of the targets were in very small settlements. Request for bombing of Niksic, for example, originally came from Piko Dapchevich, on 30 March 1944. On 19 April, Dapchevich and Matar Bakic also asked Tito for the bombing of Sienica, Bijelo Polje and Podgorica. Some claim that it is not known for sure who requested the bombings. The campaign was constantly prolonged, even though the results showed that German troops were almost unharmed, while the civilian fatalities numbered in thousands. On 5 February 1944 Tito sent a dispatch to his representatives in Serbia, which was discovered and made public over 50 years later. In it, Tito notifies them that he is sending British Major John Henneker Major on a special mission, and then instructs them that all wishes concerning the help of the Allied Air Force will be sent to the Allied mission at the Partisan General Staff, but that the General Staff will decide if the suggested target will be bombed. As a proof that the highest communist leadership was aware of the minimal military benefit of the bombings, but also of the enormous civilian casualties, a letter from Tito's aide, Slovene Edward Carde is often cited. He writes to the Central Committee of Slovenia, concerning the request from the General Staff of Slovenia for Ljubljana to be bombed, I don't understand what prompts you to this and who would have benefits from it. There is no doubt that there will be thousands of our dead people in Ljubljana, but the enemy wouldn't suffer almost any casualties. We have such experience from all over Yugoslavia. Topic. See also Air warfare in Yugoslavia 1941 